Broadcasting live worldwide. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Good morning, everyone. This is Angel from Half Faith. Let it begin. Something funny happened to me the other day. I went to the store to pick up some items. As I was leaving the store, I realized that in my right pocket was one of the items that I forgot to pay. I felt extremely guilty. Has this ever happened to you? What have you done when you realized that the items in your cart was maybe something that you didn't pay for? Have Faith, Let It Begin starts right now. On June 16th, 2018, a show designed for you, The Daily Commuter, went live. A weekly show all about faith. A show with motivational topics, inspirational stories, and personal testimony set out to change the world. Hello, my name is Amari, and today we are back on another episode of Have Faith and Let's Begin. Hi, my name is Isabella, and you're listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Hi, I am Mia. Are you listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin? Welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Can you say Have Faith, Let It Begin? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Have Faith, Let It Begin. Today, I have a crazy, funny little story to tell you. And I'm just curious if you've experienced what I just experienced. The other day I went to the uh, local uh, Hannaford store and I went in with the notion that I had to buy about two or three items, ended up being, of course, seven items, <laughs> right? Always never fails. You never go in for one and come out with one. So I went in and um, I, with the, with the, the notion that I had to buy these eye drops. Um, the eye drops because my eyes have been pretty dry lately. So I got that, ended up getting a couple more items. And wouldn't you know it that I put it all in the cart. I went to a self-checkout. And as I was um, getting into my vehicle, I discovered that I never paid for the eye drops. You see, what happened was I pulled all the items out of the cart and the eye drops, to be very honest with you, it wasn't like they were hidden. It just, I just never grabbed them. And um, I got in the car and I double checked the receipt and triple checked the receipt and realized that in fact, I never did pay for the items. That was very troubling to me. I, it bothered me. I'm not going to lie. It, I was upset. I felt like I had stolen but I knew deep down inside, that was not what I intended to do. So I said to myself, wow, if it was that quote unquote easy to do that, how many people have done that and never thought twice to return into the store? So I returned back in and turned myself in. I walked up to a manager and said, listen, I got to be honest. I paid for items and I forgot to pay for this item. May I please pay for this item? And the girl said to me, wow, I, okay. She says, why would you even bother? I mean, it's not like anybody saw you. And I said, well, because it's wrong. She goes, no, I agree. But I'm just saying, you know, it is what it is. And I said, no, it isn't. I said, that's stealing. People work hard for their money. People work hard to pay for things. I make a living and I owe it to myself and a store to pay for the item. After I paid for the item, I felt better. I felt like I had done the right thing. And it got me thinking, how often have we stole from ourself? See, it wasn't so much as about the fact that I forgot to pay for the item. It made me realize how often have we cheated ourselves out of the road to victory, the path to righteousness. How many times do we hold our affections behind or hold our feelings behind, not sharing with others how we truly feel? How often 
do we not pay for the items that we so desperately, desperately need? You see, the items I just explained, like feelings, and there's no price tag on those. But if you express your feelings, if you reach out to others while you are in need, you will find that it's worth its weight in gold. So today, I ask you the question, when was the last time you went into a store, accidentally forgot to pay for something? Did you go back and pay? Did you cheat yourself out of something in life? Is there someone you want to speak to? Is there someone that deep down inside you really want to tell them how you feel? Think about that today as you go into your workplace. Think about all the things that we are actually in our control. Think about the things that we can control and how we can overcome them. As we drive to work this morning and we realize there's so many things that we can be doing, so much better things that we can be doing, are we taking the time to realize that the gift that God has the gift that God has given us is the gift that others can be rewarded with? Think about that today, and never forget. Have faith. Let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and it, Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.